Hi guys, welcome to you know, trying not to grip your glutes to see if you can really ocean wave. <laughs> Welcome to another session of Yoga with Dina. I'll see you on the mat. Hi, good morning. Welcome to my channel. We are going to do a little bit of a flow that I just did in my class this morning. Stick around and I'll see you soon. Bye. Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I uh, was away for a little bit, so back at the studio. I've been teaching quite a bit this weekend, so I'm going to give you a little bit of snippet from what I just taught this in this morning's class. So let's just get started on the mat. Make sure you have your strap. Let's get started on the mat. Take a downward facing dog, Adho Mukha Svanasana, allowing your feet and your hands to come to the mat. And maybe if your hips are high, maybe if your heels are high off the ground, bend your knees. See if you can shorten the space between your rib cage and the tops of your thighs, drawing your ribs towards your kneecaps. Take one more inhale here. And as you exhale, open your mouth, let it all out. And maybe your heels are coming closer towards the mat. Let's do it one more time. Take an inhale. Exhale, open your mouth, let it all out. Float your right foot up towards the ceiling. Step your foot by your right thumb. Spin your left heel down. Grab your strap. Inhale, Virabhadrasana, one, warrior one. Squaring off your ribs to the front of the mat. Allowing your weight to be on the pinky toe side of your left foot. Bring your hands behind your back. Starting from your sacrum, build, bend those elbows, inhale, peel your arms away, and as you exhale, fold forward, humble warrior. Letting your right shoulder come towards your right knee, but keeping your pelvis neutral, so sending your right hip back, left hip forward, drop your head, release your neck. Maybe you can walk your fingers out wider on the strap if your hands are not above your head. One more inhale. Exhale, release your hands to the mat. Put on the ball of the left foot. Step your right foot back. Move through your vinyasa. And go straight to downward facing dog. Float your left foot up towards the ceiling. Step your foot by your left thumb. Spin your right heel down. Grab your strap. Inhale, Virabhadrasana. One, warrior one. This time, bring your hands behind your back, starting from the sacrum, just like last time. Peel your arms away. Fold forward, humble warrior. Hands above your head. Taking one more inhale. Exhale, release your hands, pivot on the ball of the right foot, step your left foot back. Move through this vinyasa. Go straight to downward facing dog. Three more breaths here. Continue to check in. Are your feet parallel with the long sides of the mat, slightly pigeon toed? Maybe you're able to bring your heels all the way to the ground. Take an inhale. Open your mouth, let it all out. Let's do that one more time. Inhale. Open your mouth, let it all out. Float your right foot up towards the ceiling. Step your foot by your right thumb, left heel down. Grab your strap one more time. Inhale, Virabhadrasana, one, one, one. Exhale, bring your hands behind your back, starting from your sacrum. 
Inhale, peel your arms away. This time, come onto the ball of the left foot. Begin to lean forward, lean, 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 and then float your left foot up off the mat. Your left heel is about hip height square off that left hip. Make it nice and heavy. Begin to bring your hands above your head. The back of your neck is long. Find your balance. Your drishti is the tip of your nose. One more inhale. As you exhale, release your hands to the ground. Point your left foot up towards the ceiling for your standing split. Breathe with your, your ujjayi breath and find out the window with your mouth closed. And then release the left foot slightly to the back of the right. So tap it to the ground, tiny crisscross, feeling your right outer hip get a nice stretch here. Maybe your fingers come towards your ankle. And then release, walk all the way back to downward facing dog. Final side, float your left foot up towards the ceiling. Step your foot by your left thumb, spin your right heel down, grab your strap. Inhale, Virabhadrasana one. As you exhale, bring your hands behind your back, starting from your sacrum. Inhale, peel your arms away. And as you exhale, come into the ball of the right foot. Begin to lean forward for Veer Bhadrasana 3, Warrior 3. Hands above your head. Nice and long neck. One more inhale. And as you exhale, release your hands to the mat. Point your right foot up towards the ceiling for your standing split. And as you exhale, release the right foot to the mat, slightly to the back of the left, crisscrossing behind. Fingertips walk towards your ankle. When you're ready, bring your feet to the mat, hip width apart. In hands on, on shins, inhale for flat back. Exhale, fold. Slightly bend your knees. Inhale, come all the way to the top. Uttita Hastasana. Tadasana. That's it for today's practice. Feel free to repeat, do a Shavasana after, and do some sun salutes. I'll see you soon. Bye.